Alrighty, uh, this one is just going to be a very quick little guide while I'm working on some other projects. Um, uh, it's just going to be going over how to kind of edit and change around the starting classes in Dark Souls 3. So if you have imported custom armors or weapons or models or anything of that sort, um, or just generally would like to change the way the starting classes um, are equipped or their stats or anything like that. We're just going to go over how to do that really quickly. The only tool I think that you're going to need for that um, is going to be DS Param Studio. Um, Yabber is optional um, if you want to change like NPC names or the, the starting class names or anything like that. Um, but to actually change stuff, all you're going to need is DS Param Studio here. So we're going to just run that really quickly here. Just run it. Um, if you haven't run it before, it will ask you to select the directory of the game executable, uh, the output for your project, and all those kinds of things. But um, that's all pretty simple. It's the same same vein as map studio and all that kind of stuff so um, you'll just want to navigate on the left side here to the Kara init param you just click on that and it'll populate some stuff here assuming you started a new project and you clicked the little um, import character or row names that kind of stuff there's also I think there's a little box for loading loose params um, you'll want to click that as well but if you just click both the boxes when you start a project you'll get all of what's available to be filled in filled in which is a whole lot better than nothing so um we're seeing the kara init param line here and then we have a bunch of other lines here of a whole lot of different bits and bobs of information um the starting classes are row 3000 through 3009 here, and then the starting gifts are going to be 2400 through 2409. Um, there's a lot of blank lines in here. These actually are uh, NPCs in game and stuff like that. I don't, I don't have them all named in the uh, program here, but you can click through like this one right here is obviously it's hawkwood it's got the bastard sword his shield his chain helm all that kind of stuff so if you want to change what regular npcs have on as well that's going to be right in this same vein of stuff but for starting classes we'll just go the the knight class here um i was playing with it a little bit so i changed it from a long sword to a broad sword there so we'll uh we'll leave that as a broad sword for now but let's go to the armor here so what you're gonna want to do to change that is just right click um, on the red text and then equip protector in a new view just so you get two tabs up here on the top you can click back to what you're changing and what you're looking through here so for the sake of just playing around with changing some stuff here it doesn't really matter what we pick let's uh let's let's do do the firelink helm why not so we'll just click on that and then we'll just grab its id right here we'll just copy it with Control c and then we'll go back over to our knight starting class line go to the helm line and just paste that new number in there and then just click below like right in the gray area or on a different line to make sure that that change actually snaps into effect there um for the chest armor, we will just go back to our other tab up here to get a different chest piece here. Let's do uh, let's do uh, Ring Knight's armor. So we will just go grab that ID here, swap it over, paste it in there, click right next to it or so, so it actually swaps it. Um, We'll do we'll do the rest here just for the sake of you know going through them all, but you don't really need to. I don't really need to show you all of it because it's it's pretty same same across the board here. You swap the IDs for what you want and then repeat down the row there. So um, 
Oh, I, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. We want that one lower, so let's put that lower. And then those were going to be the arms there. So let's grab something else for the arms while we're thinking about it there. Gauntlets. We'll grab the Katarina gauntlets. Plop those in over here. Make sure that's all nice and pretty there. So that's how you change the armor, weapon, shield, that kind of stuff. Um, and then you can scroll down to what their item number one is going to be. Um, so that's item number one on their hot bar which is the SS flask by default and then you have stats down here that you can play with you can play with their soul level to start their vigor attunement endurance strength x etc stats um, all that kind of good stuff there and then once you're done changing it to whatever you want it to be you would just go up to file save it into whatever project it is you're working on and then you could load up the game and look at it. Um, if you want to change the name of the class itself, you would just go to your unpacked game directory, which we will look in here. We'll go all the way back out because I'm already in the menu stuff. So you're going to want to go to your unpacked game directory, go down to the message folder, just click into it, whatever your language is. Um, for me, it's going to be English, obviously, because that's what I'm speaking, so there you go. Um, and then Menu DLC 2 folder, which will be packed up as a DCX, so you'll just want to grab that, drop it in the Yabber, and it'll unpack it. And then we're just going to keep on clicking in until we get to all of this strange text here. Um, Easiest way to decode what's going on here is just going to be with the text containers, which I will link all of the tools and things that are used in this in the description as always. Um, and then just look through here, see what you're looking for. We're looking for the starting class name, so it's going to be right here, this one, which we're going to look for in here. I've already unpacked it, but it is this line right here because this is base game stuff, not DLC stuff or anything so um, you would just unpack that with Yabber and then you could click on that XML open it with notepad or notepad plus plus whatever the case you want to do and then you're just gonna want to scroll way down to most of the way down here and then you're gonna have these lines here of those names and you can change those to whatever you feel fits what you're changing your characters to be uh, for me I don't need to change it because I'm not really going for that right now I'm just going for showing you how it works um, so we went and applied these saves in here but for good measure I'll just save again because I'm thinking about it so we'll just go ahead and minimize these things and then we will go here and we will load up the game real quick and just take a look at the starting classes um, that should be all you really need to do for editing the starting classes. There's a lot of other cool things you can do with Param Studio uh, and just editing params in general. So if there's anything that you want to see or want me to dig into kind of figuring out how it would work, um, feel free to leave a comment and ask. Um, I'm always willing to try and dig my teeth in a little bit to something. So, um, so we'll start up the game here get loaded in and then it'll take a hot second here for it to check the network connection because I'm using a mod engine so it's uh it's just having time there but all right here we go so I will just go to new game here and then uh skip through here and this is the night starting class as you can see we changed it significantly <laughs> from what it was it's got the broadsword that we selected the gauntlets the chest armor the booties and helmet all that kind of stuff so um, same things can be done in here uh, you can change this you can change the name you can change the armor you can change all the stats uh, you can change the starting items um, everything associated with the starting class should basically be within that Kara in it 
param there. Um, but it's a quick one, but it is uh, hopefully helpful and just if it's something that you're looking for how to do, then hopefully that fits the bill for you. If you have any questions or you have anything else you want me to work on, just let me know. Um, if it was helpful, just leave a like or subscribe or don't. I'm happy to just have you hanging out. So have a good one, everybody.